blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure ospf plus static routing on a cisco firewall so i'll just open our google spreadsheet i'll let you know that today we're doing number five under firewall configuration so firewall routing static plus ospf okay all right so i'll just open our notepad to let the steps follow to achieve the objective so the first step always here under ospf and default static routing so the first step is always to draw the necessary topology decorate and comment so guys we've been configuring firewall and among the things that you've done is to configure basic settings we've configured dscp we've configured ssh so today we are going to connect three networks okay this one this one and this one using a firewall okay and implement ospf between the inside network and the firewall and between the and implement default static routing between the firewall and outside network okay so this topology is blank i i have not configured anything on this topology i've just uh placed the devices okay and do the connection all right and maybe the comments so you can see this inside network uh, this is dmz and this outside network so i'll just input uh, another firewall i just put firewall at the center so click on the firewalls and choose 5506 x firewall choose 5506 x firewall in this lab we use 5506 okay then just connect them so i'll just connect them randomly very very fast all right so that's done so guys in this scenario here we have inside network on the left outside network at the top and dmz on the right so in this setup we trust the inside network because this is where our users are we don't trust outside network because we don't know those people who are connected via the outside network but we partially trust dmz because dmz is where we place our servers okay all right so we want to implement a routing protocol su such that ospf works between the firewall and the inside router okay but the default static routing works between the firewall and the isp router because you know that default static routing is a routing uh, is a routing protocol whereby we don't know the destination maybe the the source might request must might request a destination that is not in the routing table so in that scenario we use default static routing such that all that all that routes that is not in the routing table are forwarded to the isp route okay all right so without any further ado guys i've explained enough so i'll just go back to our notepad and uh, step two you can see uh step two is uh, step two under spf and default static routing you can see configure host name enable passwords username and password so but guys basically we want to configure host name here uh, enable password and username and password so let's just go very very fast save time all right so just say enable and uh the first password of this of a cisco firewall is always blank so just hit enter and enable and config t sorry config t then host name so just say host name uh, let's use parameter parameter firewall and hit and enter and then what do you do now we configure uh username enable password first so just say enable password enable password to be i want it to be cisco small lowercase okay and then uh username and password just say username i want it to be cisco then password to be uh password to be cisco too okay and you eat end all right so the next step the next step here you can see is configure IP addresses, name the interfaces, and give them security levels. 
okay all right so basically we're going to configure interfaces on the firewall we give them the we give the interfaces name because you know an interface will be referred to we reference to the interface using its name so you have to name them and give them security levels okay all right so let's do that let's do that so uh huh what do you do now we start with this interface which is gig one slash one so we just go here and say interface gig one slash one and we hit it and uh say no shut because you can see it's shut down state okay now it's up although on the router side we'll do on the router side later okay then what do we do we name the interface we give it a name we just say name if to be being that this interface is connected to inside router we say the name is inside and we hit enter then we give it a security level we give it a security level we just say security level to be 100 percent because we trust the inside network okay we hit enter still okay and now we give it an IP address. You can see the IP range is 10, 10, 10, 0, 30. So we just say IP address to be 10.10.10.1, 10 .10 okay? With the certain mask of 255.255.255.0. Hit enter and exit. Then we go to the interface that is connecting the uh, DMZ. I mean DMZ, yeah, demilitarized zone. Okay. So this interface you can see is gig one slash three. So we just go here and say gig one slash three. The first thing, no shut. Okay. Then you give it a name. Name to be. We want to give it a name of uh, DMZ because you can see it's connected to the demilitarized zone. So you just say DMZ and we hit enter. Then you give it a security level. Well, we partially trust what is coming from the DMZ. So we can give it a security level of, uh, let's say 60, 60%, okay? All right. Then we assign the P address. So in this range, you can see the P address is 172, 16, and I mean 10.0 slash 28. So you just say IP, IP add, to be 172 16 1610.1 okay then the subject mask is 255 255.255.240 because slash 28 notation and you just hit enter and exit and finally you configure this interface you configure this interface which is a gig 0 slash 2 so you just go here and configure gig 0 slash 2 first thing no shut and then give it a name name it as uh, outside because you can see it's connecting to outside outside and it enter then security level we don't we, we totally don't trust what's coming from outside so we give it a security level of zero the lowest priority okay all right then ip address so ip address there it will be like uh uh huh 10 dot 10 no 20 dot 20 dot 20 slash uh two yeah it will be 252 then 20 dot 20 dot 20 20 20 and we hit enter and uh, exit so uh, i think uh, on the first interface which is gig 0 slash 1 this should be this this one should be 252 because of slash start notation here okay so i'll just copy this one and go back to a uh, gig 1 1 slash 1 and edit that so we make it 252 because of should I start notation here okay all right exit and do right so guys i mean sorry in the firewall you say write memory not do right write mem 
yeah so the second thing that we do guys now we go to individual router and configure IP addresses to the interfaces so I'll start from the inside router then I go to ISP router okay so let's start with our inside router so I'll just go to inside router and configure this interface at uh, uh, gig 00 which is the first interface connecting to the inside to to, to have 102.168.100.1 then this inside this interface of uh, ISP router uh, to have uh, 8881 okay so I'll do it very very fast sometime because I know I know you know how to configure IP addresses on the routers interfaces okay all right all right so I've done IP configuration on the routers interfaces such that this interface has taken 10 10 10 2 this interface has taken 100 I mean 100.1 this interface of the router, this interface has taken 2022, and this interface has taken 8881. Okay, all right. So, guys, basically, it's the time that now we configure OSPF on the router, on the inside router, and the firewall. Right, so we're going to configure OSPF here to advertise the directly connected networks. Okay, all right. So, let's just do that very, very fast. And do right. All right, so we've done OSPF configuration on this router. So let's do OSPF configuration on this router very, very fast to save time. So let's do OSPF configuration on the firewall very, very fast. So I click on the firewall. Then what you say, we just say router. OSPF 50 okay with the, then a router ID router ID of let's use 2.1.2.1 okay all right then you advertise networks so in the case of firewall you can see it's connected to how many networks three one two three so we advertise three networks so the first network we just say network the first network is this network which is uh, connected to the servers 172.16.10.0 then a wildcard mask of uh, 0 .0 .0 uh -huh. this is slash 20, 20, 28 slash 28 notation is normally 255 255.255.240 so 255 minus 240 is 15 okay area zero and we hit enter oops i can see we have a problem here and uh another problem so in the firewall in firewall we do not use wildcard mask in firewall we use the normal the normal subnet mask we just say 255.255.255.240 and hit enter yeah so in firewall do not use wildcard mask use marker i mean subnet mask okay all right so another network is uh, another Uh, the last step is to configure default static routing uh, between the firewall and outside router, which is ISP router. Okay, so we want to configure the firewall such that it forwards any traffic that doesn't match the routing table to ISP. Okay, so we just click on the firewall and then um, minimize a little bit. Then what we say now. We say we want to route outside okay so we just say route route outside yes route outside okay then when i try to query you can see it's telling me to write the network the subnet okay so for default i mean for default routing we write the default route so we just say 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 any ip address with any subnet mask 
okay should go through the out interface okay the outside interface so when it goes to the outside interface the next op ip will be the ip address of the isp router here okay so gig01 on the sp router you can see it's 20.20.22 so we just say 20.20.20.2 and you hit enter that's all about default static routing on the firewall and if you can just say show show ip route uh-huh just a minute and show route yes so you can see here we have ospf is here okay you can see ospf entry is here okay with advertising this network okay through the inside interface they have formed neighbors okay then we have default static routing here okay gateway i mean the gateway of last resort default static routing and ospf has been configured successfully so guys basically i believe this video is really helping out to configure ospf and default static routing on a cisco sa firewall so when we meet next we're going to use this same topology being that now we've configured routing protocols okay so we're going to use this same topology to configure firewall policy such, such, so that this network this network and this network can communicate as of now this network and this network can not communicate and if i can just go here this i can see ip address is 8881 and try to ping 8881 here ping 8.8.8.1 it cannot reach why because firewall is blocking any traffic by default unless you configure the policies there will be no communication so when you meet next let's configure policies on the firewall so it's such that these we can restrict the access to the dmz and allow our inside users to access maybe the google server here okay all right so thank you so much guys please subscribe to this channel like this video share with friends and let's see you again in the part of firewall policies configuration bye